Greetings, my fellow beings. My name is Amanda, and as you can tell, I am camping right now. And I wanted to talk about the way that you can tell between are you watching your limits or are you just scared of the limits that you have? And so I thought this was a perfect opportunity because when it comes to camping with these reenactments, there's very little that I can do when it comes to setup, tear down. I am the cook and I rely a lot on my sister when it comes to getting things ready for eating. And so I'm going to take you on a journey and show you all the things that I can and cannot do and tell you why I can do them and why I can't do them. And then we're going to talk about ways that you can know whether or not you are following your limitations or you're just scared of limitations. So come with me as we enjoy this camp out here in Spring City. So as you can see, it is a downpour when we are putting together all the things that we need for the camping trip. And you're going to notice that I am not out there because I was told that I was in the way because I can't really lift a lot of things and I can't help out with a lot of things. And that is through trial and error. Everyone's slowly putting up camp and I am taking a break because I need the rest. <laughs> now I am the camp cook, but as you can see, my sister is the one who's actually doing a lot of the prep work, and I just kind of help out. I tell her the things that need to be done, and she does a lot of the cutting, especially when it comes to onions. I don't do very well when it comes to onions at all. We like to joke that Addie is the scullery maid, and that I am the head chef, and so she does all the grunt work, but I try my best to make sure that the work is equal. But, in all honesty, I rely on her a lot when it comes to cooking. So the question is, how do I know what I can and cannot do? And this has to do with a lot of trial and error. I am an extremely stubborn human being, and I will push myself beyond the limits that I can possibly do. And I learn quite quickly what I can and cannot do. So with you, make sure that you're paying attention to your body. Try something new, and if you end up not feeling good afterwards, put that on your checklist that that is the new thing that you can't do. So it is a lot of trial and error, but try things out, see if you can do it, and if you can't, know that it's okay that you can't do it. It is totally okay for you to take breaks, it is okay for you to listen to your body, and to follow what your body needs. So don't put yourself down for anything that you need for rest. <laughs> when it comes to the main part of cooking, I know that I am the one in charge of that. I depend on my sister for doing all the prep work and getting things ready, but I know that for me, I am able to watch the food, put in the spices needed, stir the food, get things ready. I know that that is the job that I can do. But I also know that I need to take a lot of breaks. So when there is a lull in cooking, I make sure that my sister goes in and she makes sure the fire is completely on, that everything is working properly. And then if she notices something with the food, then she'll tell me and I will get up and actually fix whatever is going on when it comes to food. But again, the question is, how do I know if I need to take a break? And that is all from listening to my body. When I first got sick, I didn't know what my body was telling me. And so I would end up in a crash a lot because I didn't know that my body was telling me that I needed to rest. But through a lot of trial and error, I have been able to know when my body is telling me, you need to sit down and you need to sit down now. And so I now know that when it is time to sit down, I take that break. And as you can see, I am definitely taking that break with our very authentic drinks because I know that this is a time that I need to take a break and sit down and rest. Jobs that I know that I cannot do are things like splitting wood, like my sister is doing right here. I know that I physically cannot split wood, and so she does that, and she does it really well, even though she says that she's really bad at it. She gets the wood chopped and she gets everything ready for us, so I believe in her 100%. And if you notice here, we are both washing dishes, 
but I am doing the small work and I am washing um, plates, bowls, uh, right now I'm uh, washing a spatula and she is washing the cast iron. And the reason why we have split it up this way is because I know that she's able to bend over, she is able to scrub harder than me, she has more energy than me to be able to clean the cast iron. Whereas I still can wash things and get things done, but I have to do the smaller things in order to be able to get all the dishes done. So we were able to divide the labor between the heavy duty stuff like cast iron and the smaller stuff. So I'm still able to help out. I still feel like I'm doing something, but it's nothing that is extreme. Whereas my sister is able to do more of the hard stuff and we're able to get all the work done because we divide that labor. And you'll see my dad come in for a break as well because he is also disabled. And so he'll come in and rest and when he's not resting, he is telling stories at the puppet show. So this is a lull during our day, and so everyone is resting. And even people that don't have disabilities are knowing that this is a time to rest. And so we have the kids and my dad doing the puppet show, and then everybody else is taking a break because there is that lull in people coming through. We did get a huge mass of people later on during the day, but as you can see, my sister is sitting there pretty bored. My advice for everyone, listen to yourself. Your body will tell you what you need. I hope that you found this video useful. I hope that you learned a few things from this video and that maybe you won't be so scared to try new things when you have a chronic illness. And also to watch your limitations and know that it's okay for you to rest. It's okay for you to take time off and not have to worry about doing things. So. I hope that you found it enjoyable. If you want to continue this journey with me and learn about chronic illnesses or life with chronic illnesses, then go ahead and click that subscribe button and go ahead and click that like button if you did enjoy the video. Remember to be kind. Kindness is free, so give it out to everyone. And I'll see you next time. Bye.